Let's go visit the good doctor. He's right over here. I think his name is Phelps. He brought in that case. Cole, that Roy, I have some information for you. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening, Mal. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. Check his desk. It's a harmonica. Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. Man, I just want to so punch him in the face. If I could just reach into my TV and just punch him. Oh my God. It would make me so happy. Anyways, gotta go to inter room, interview room two. That guy just appeared out of nowhere. I don't know if you saw that or not. <laughs> Ghost. Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Burrow. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about Julia. Relationship with victim. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally mine. It is doubt. He's asking whether you banged her in a chuck-on-the-shoulder fraternity kind of way. I'm engaged to be married. It wouldn't be polite. Answer the question. This will remain private. Heather won't have to know. <laughs> yes. We had relations. Informed of Mr. Henderson. Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. It is a lie. Henry, I don't like when people lie to me. She was seeing a man named Henderson. You know who I'm talking about. Easy on, detective. I may have heard of Henderson, but I don't know his full name. I think he's from New York or someplace back east. Housekeeper's statement says that he was from San Francisco. That's fine. Julia told her cleaning lady that he lived in San Francisco. Okay, you got me. I don't know where he's from. Julia wanted money. She always wanted money. She thought she could get something from this guy. She was wearing a distinctive engagement ring. You think she might have convinced him to buy it for her? Maybe he did, yeah. Maybe he and Julia were getting serious. <laughs> Last one, burglary suspect LeBlanc. Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? His doubt. So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. Mary says he'll sing. Only if I guarantee he walks. You're some kind of traveling salesman? Once I got out of the Corps, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. Fighting 6th. You were in the 6th Marines? Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple of other places. That would be all for now, You've been very helpful. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. 
Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have them get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. He's in that car at the lights. <laughs> what made that entire scene very funny is that Phelps was actually the captain of the six marines, oh, so that guy was lying like out of his teeth. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. And there's actually an achievement for this tail scene. There's a tail. This tail scene includes the car as well as the foot scene. And if you do the entire thing perfectly without him catching on to you, then you'll get a trophy or an achievement for it. So uh, just do it carefully. You should be perfectly fine. I'm gonna get hit right here. Come on, people, get out of the way. You serious? Oh, I'd have wow. expected a cat like Arnett to be a better liar. But yeah, if you just play it carefully, you should be fine. I've already gotten this achievement, so yeah. Come on. Why is it not moving? There you go. Jeez. Waiting at that life forever. I may just cut this out, this entire thing, because it's kind of slow up there, nothing really happens with it. Where are you taking us, Henry? Alright guys, welcome back. Um, that, there's a little cutscene right there because the scene, this scene is fairly long and I, there's really no point in me showing it to you guys, so we'll get right back into action quickly. He needs money and fast. Spend the money. Too much slack. Puff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. So, like I said, now it's just a foot scene. You don't even have to use. You don't even have to go incognito here. You just gotta keep a safe distance. <clears throat> do to do, do. Nice stroll in the park. Kind of silly, kind of a waste. It was all this is just filler to make the DLC a little bit longer, in my opinion. But I guess if it works, <laughs> he crosses the streets right here. It's not too far away, so I'll probably just keep this in. Come on, play incognito. <laughs> 
I almost got caught right here because he stops like right there in a random spot and he turned around. He almost caught like, the very first time I did this. But, no bueno for you, bro. Oh. Oh, I almost got hit again. <laughs> like last time. Get smoked by a car out of nowhere. You guys remember that? Let me know in the comments if you remember that scene where I got smoked with the car. I guess you'd have to be fairly dedicated to the Let's Play if you remember all that stuff. Alright, cut into the alley. Play this cautiously. He's almost near the end anyways. Move in. I risk losing the trail. There he is. That's right, Mexico City. One way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. LAPD, the man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir, to Mexico City, tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. What have you got? He bought a ticket from Mexico City, tomorrow night. That's good, but this is better. So, uh, just gotta examine it and look, open her up. Should have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. The guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least 10 large for a cigarette case. Arnett only got 600 clams. Man, 10 G's for a cigarette case. <laughs> Next, we gotta use the telephone. Oh, I'm going the wrong way here. Look both ways for across the street. <laughs> I guess I would give you guys a chuckle if I got hit by another car. Use the payphone. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Uh, you got a problem? Are there any now? messages for me? Yes, Detective. Detectives Bukowski and Galloway request you return to the Hollywood Station. They have information in the Julia Randall case. Any luck with the arrest record check on Jimmy LeBlanc? Yes, Detective. Jimmy LeBlanc's last arresting officer was Patrolman Fred Wallace. He's posted the Hollywood Ninth Beat Sunset Boulevard between Gordon and Wilcox. Thanks for your help. So before we actually go back to the police station, we're gonna go visit that police officer that arrested those guys before. Uh, it's gonna trigger an optional scene. It's not 100% necessary to progress, but it's good to for the five stars, which is obviously what you guys are interested in. You're behind so, the wheel. Hollywood Ninth Beat. All right, where to? A one-way ticket to Mexico. Old Henry's looking as guilty as a dog next to a pile of dog shit. What's his motive? I can think of a few, but I'd put my money south of the belt. One guy plus two dames always equals problems. Owned and operated by a member of... Come on, let's give him a hand. Right behind you, Wallace, Detective Phelps. I wonder if I have time to get my gun out of the backseat of my car. Let's see. Oh baby. I do. I want this. <laughs> this was the gun that was included in the DLC that I got with the um, with the Rockstar Pass. Hopefully I get there in time and these guys don't disappear on me. The only reason I stopped because there's a fight scene right here. 
Anytime you want a new gun, there's always one available in your trunk. You didn't know anything about that. Alright, let's do this. Oh, jeez. Weapons on ground! Now! More? You guys got it, right? You guys got it? I need to make this firepower! Where are we from space? Pop up. Hey, I kept my hat this time. <laughs> Outstanding warrant, armed robbery. Knocked over a drugstore back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Bad luck for them. They're all yours now. We need some information. Ever heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? Sure. I nabbed Jimmy on a burglary beef a couple of years back. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. He got four years. I miss his partner, though. His partner? Big guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. He got away. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. Do you think he was an acrobat of some sort? More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Thanks. You've been a big help. You haven't done too badly yourself. Now we can go back to the police station. Can you drive to this one? Do we know where we're going? Why do you always ask me that? You're suggesting LeBlanc is still working with Willie? A strong man held down Randall while someone administered the morphine. Someone with muscle opened up LeBlanc's skull. Could be. We caught up with Mal. He's given us the dope on the Blanc. He worked burglaries with a big guy. Goes by the name of Willie. He might be our killer. Can you work boxing gyms, the Y, promoters, that kind of stuff? Since when have you started giving orders, Phelps? And where's the burglary angle? There was no sign of a... That's where our net comes in. Next stop, we speak to Lacey about a list of recent burglaries. The guy's a bum. His office is a front, and he's behind on the rent and his phone bill. And he's skipping town tomorrow let's get him in and beat it out of him. do you want to bring in the killer rusty it could be too smart for your own good phelps we've been talking about that haven't we boy stefan finbar sir i need the contraband list items stolen over the last year hang on i'll dig out a copy for you here you go thanks is the so, cigarette case on there? The four, there are four things on this list that we need. First is that Fabergé gold cigarette case. It's here. Arnett must Next. be out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. Next is the black sapphire ring. Julia Randall's ring. It's here. Then the silver pillbox. Seems Julia wasn't the first board society girl to hide her bennies in that pillbox. Then finally, the pearl ring. Even the engagement ring was purloined. Our net is a cad. So now we're gonna go visit the original owners of the first two items that were on our list. So where's our car? There it is. You can drive. Fine. Eves Where are from we headed? Residence. I just told you, Eve's from residence. Come on. So you and Rusty have been having discussions. Anything you would like to tell me, partner? Phelps, don't be so touchy. Rusty had his best ever clearance rate working with you. Even if the cases he worked on can't be discussed. We were just comparing notes. 
You're a Boonaroo case, man, Phelps. One of the best I've ever seen. Thanks. You gotta learn to take a compliment, Phelps. Nice house. LAPD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? She is. Would you follow me, sir? I am Mrs. Evestrom. How may I help you? We appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. Why would I mind, young man? if you are returning 43 pieces of my property. Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Maria, can you get the detective a drink, please? List of stolen items. Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. <laughs> kind of over by 15 grand, lady. It's a lie. Why are you lying about the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Eastrom? Who do you think you are? Making heinous accusations in my own home. Go to the Fabergé cigarette case. We recovered the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. I inflated its value for the insurance claim. There, are you satisfied? My daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. I think he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. Finally, burglary incident report. What can you tell us about the burglary? That terrible night, at least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. There really wasn't a question there, <laughs> so it's truth. Were you in the house when the burglary took place? Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman and his lovely wife. I returned home, and all of my things were missing. That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother. Hello, Detectives. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter this morning at work. Oh, mother and father divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives recovered some of the things that were stolen, darling. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. 